Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to run Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. Now, if you've got a flash drive which is pretty fast, you can actually install Windows 10 on it and it will actually run on there and you'll be able to save files and surf the internet and do all that sort of good stuff from your USB flash drive. I'll show you how to create that. It's very simple and easy to do. You need to go to this website where it's called Win2USB and you can download their software and run it on Windows 10 to install your version of Windows 10 onto your USB flash drive by using this software. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. There's quite a few different bits of software out there you can use to do this same job, but we're going to be using this one today. Now, there is some restrictions on the free version, and I'll point those out during the uh, installation of Windows 10 onto our USB. So you're going to need to download the software, the free version of software. And then once you've got that, you need to get your Windows 10 version. You can get that from Microsoft's website. Download the media creation tool here. I've already got the a, a ISO already downloaded, but I'll show you where to get it just in case you don't know. And you've been living under a rock somewhere. So basically, accept their terms and conditions. It'll go through a bunch of different things here. Click on Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive. Click Next. Take the tick out of Use Recommended Options for this PC. Click Next and you should now see ISO file download. You can download that ISO file. I've already got one downloaded here, as you can already see, so I'm not going to continue with that process, but if you do, that's where you can download it. Okay, so let's get on with the installation of the software here, which we downloaded called win to usb I'm going to go next and go through the motions here and just install this onto my computer. Click on Install, and that should install very quick and easy. So this is the actual software here. We need to click on image file, so click on browse, and we're going to browse to that Windows 10 ISO file that we just downloaded. So here we go here. You can use other versions of Windows if you wish, but this is the version we're going to be using for this video. I'm going to choose Windows 10 Home, and we're going to click on next here to move on to the next stage. Now it's asking to select a destination disk, so you need to select the USB flash drive that you've chosen, try to choose a fast USB flash drive. Now, the first option, MBR for BIOS, is the version we're going to be creating here. Uh, they do have GPT for UEFI. If you want to use the other version, which is MBR for BIOS and UEFI, you will need to purchase uh, the paid version. This is not included on the free version, unfortunately. And uh, this is also uh, for non-commercial use only. So just do MBR for BIOS and you should be okay. Click yes. And this will then start formatting your USB flash drive. So if you have any data on there, that data will be wiped. So make sure you back up that before you did any of this. You should be doing that anyway before we continue. From here, we do need to do a installation mode. You've got a bunch of different options here. I'm going to do legacy mode and you can see I've got my USB flash drive selected and you can add on additional drivers if you want to, uh, but I'm okay here. So I'm just going to leave this as is. And then what we're going to do is click on next. Once we click on next, this will start to install windows as a windows to go on our USB flash drive. Now it does take a long time. So be patient. It may be stuck on zero for a long time, but once that's completed, you will see the USB flash drive filling up and putting all the data on that drive. That's why it's important to use the fastest flash drive possible because otherwise it will take even longer. So now we can quit this out because we have installed that onto our USB flash drive. So let me show you inside the BIOS here. I've got my BIOS set up to legacy only because that's the option that we selected uh, for when we created our USB flash drive. Now I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive with Win to go on it and uh, basically put that on there. And basically what we need to do now is boot to that USB flash drive. You can see here my SanDisk, I can literally click on this one. We don't need the UEFI because we've disabled that and gone for legacy. So go to SanDisk, push enter, and this will then start to boot up to that USB flash drive. That simple. Now this does take a bit of time because it needs to still do some creation on your USB flash drive and it will say it's going to get a few things ready and start to create stuff for you like your user account and things like that. 
So just be patient. This bit does take a bit longer. Once this is all complete, it should boot up really fast and you should have no problems at all. But at this stage, what we need to do is just be patient. You can see it's getting a few things ready because this is treating your USB flash drive as a hard drive and it's basically having to prepare it just like it would do if you was installing this onto a computer. But because we're using a USB flash drive, things are just going to be that little bit slower. And uh, so let me just finish this off here. It's going to give us the option to do some settings like our language and things like that. So just go through all of the motions and turn off any sort of telemetry that you want to turn off on your USB flash drive. It will last you all that just like you would do as you was installing Windows 10. I'm not going to bore you with all of this, so I'm going to skip this part, but basically just go through the motions and install it onto your flash drive using your username that you want to do. Once you get this screen saying almost there, you're pretty much at the desktop of your USB flash drive, basically, and you've now got Windows 10 installed and running with live internet access. So let's do a quick boot up to see what it's like booting up from a cold start here once you've completed all this to see how fast it actually is to get from the startup to the desktop on a USB flash drive with Windows 10 running on it. So we'll just give this a bit of time and see what happens. You can see they're focusing on the camera. My apologies for that. I could have just captured the screen, but I wanted to show you that it is actually the win to go that we set up here. So that is about it. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members to join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support that you've shown. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.